this right here. Pokemon Go has been taking over my life for the last week that I've had it, and I've had no regrets playing it. I've been taking my dog named Misty out for walks at 1.30 in the morning just so I can catch a Ghastly. And it doesn't help that there's a Pokemon gym across my street where I can play from my desk or my sister's bedroom. Now there's a lot of Pokemon Go videos out there, a lot of even channels being made specifically for Pokemon Go. So if you want to see my Pokemon Go vlogs where it's all about Pokemon Go, check out my gaming channel, Charlie Teabags, a link down below. But enough of that, in today's video, we are going to be running down the four sneakers I wear the most playing Pokemon Go. These are not in any specific order. Each sneaker has different purposes, so I will get into that right now. So the very first sneaker I wear pretty often, not just for Pokemon Go, but because these have become my beaters, are the Adidas Tubular uh, from the Snake Pack. This is the only Adidas Tubular in my collection. These tubulars have been through a lot. They've been through Misty attacking them. You can see the dog marks on the sneaker. It's pretty, it's pretty messy. And these sneakers just don't really get cleaned up much because they have beater status. When I walk my dog almost every morning, I end up wearing these sneakers because I really don't care what happens to them. If I'm just running out of the house real quick, say if there's like a ghastly nearby that I wanna catch, throw these on, run out the door, and get the Pokemon. So, first one up is the Adidas tubular from the snake pack. Now in Pokemon Go, there are three different teams you can be a part of. The only one that matters is Team Valor, Bruh. and I'm on that team, obviously. Bruh. And when I'm feeling a lot of my team pride resonating within my soul, I end up wearing these Nike Air Force One highs, the Nikes with the Chinese Nike in the back. Yes, they're called the Nike Nikes. Um, these are my grails, by far one of the best sneakers, one of my favorite sneakers in my collection. I love them dearly. I also have Sneaker Talk, like special, um, branded stuff on the uh, shoelaces. These sneakers are comfortable and I also just like to wear red. Red's my favorite color. I'm Team Valor. You gotta represent sometimes. Now one of the best ways to get around the area is by a longboard or a bicycle. Playing Pokemon Go just walking doesn't really cut it, especially if you're doing some serious hunting. So when I rode my sister's penny board, or in this case now, I ride my own longboard, which my parents got me for my birthday, uh, I want a pair of sneakers that are appropriate for longboarding. And that sneaker is the Converse Chuck Taylor 2. Now these have the awesome Lunar Lawn sole, which definitely adds a lot of comfort that's needed. Wearing these all day long is no problem at all. And with that being said, I do not feel bad when I like grind the sole of the sneaker against the floor to slow down the longboard and I can run around in like foresty areas or dirty places and not care about my sneakers because Converse continuously look good as they age. And so wearing the Chuck Taylor 2 not only looks good every day, but it's also a great option if you are longboarding or pennyboarding or skateboarding everywhere playing Pokemon Go. So the Chuck Taylor 2 by Converse is the third option I wear. Now, last but not least is an option that I feel like is pretty much good in every scenario except for when I am hunting down Pokemon in parks and foresty areas. Uh, but when I'm traveling in a lot of sidewalks and a lot of open roads and I'm not getting too, too dirty, this is the one sneaker I always tend to gravitate toward. It is the Adidas Ultra Boost um, Uncaged or the Uncaged Ultra Boost. I got these a while ago and they are the most comfortable sneaker I've ever worn. I did a full review on this sneaker, so if you're interested in seeing the uh, review, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Any sneaker with like boost technology is guaranteed to be a comfortable sneaker, so if you can find them on sale or if you can justify paying the price, um, I would definitely go for it. For when I'm walking hours and hours playing Pokemon Go or even on my longboard, I do wear these while I'm longboarding. This is by far my favorite option that I wear just because the comfort is amazing. The one drawback with this is if I know I'm going to be doing a lot of longboarding, I end up going with the Converse instead because it's easier to break with the longboard. Um, but the grip on this sneaker is pretty grippy. So when I do try and break with the longboard, it sort of like springs back. So it's a little bit dangerous. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are playing Pokemon Go, let me know in the comments down below your best Pokemon that you have, what level you are, and what shoes you wear. And uh, I feel like we should do a little giveaway um, for this video. So what can I have to give away? Uh, I got this actual Pokemon sticker um, from Adrift. 
It's not like the legit Pokemon on the actual sticker. It's like an artist, uh, their interpretation of the Pokemon without eyeballs. So pretty, pretty funny. Um, but this will be perfect for any of you really crazed Pokemon fans. Um, so I'll make sure I include that in the title so you Pokemon freaks will will want to watch this video. But yeah, all you have to do to win this is comment what level you are in Pokemon Go, your best Pokemon, and the sneakers you wear the most playing Pokemon Go. Hope it's not too much work. I know it's going to take you like 10 seconds, um, but yeah, man, make sure you hit the thumbs up button as well to enter. Uh, you don't have to be subscribed, but if you want to see more videos, feel free, and that will be the way you can get notified if you win the giveaway. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to head out for a Pokemon adventure right now because I've been inside all day. The server has been down, but they're finally fixed, so I'm hyped, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay blessed. Peace out.